It's once again time to take our weekly look at some of the big stories from the world of sports. This is Lee Middleton and coming up this time from the world of play. It's the final weekend of the World Athletics Championships in London and things this week haven't gone 100% to plan. The defending champions get off to a winning start in the Women's Rugby World Cup and for football fans, the Premier League is back. Let's tie up a few loose ends first then. Since the last time we spoke, I mentioned the Premier League returning and two of the UK's top clubs were in action last weekend in the traditional season opening Community Shield. It finished one all after 90 minutes with Arsenal becoming the first team to win a penalty shootout using the new ABBA system, sealing their penalty win 4-1 against Chelsea. Elsewhere in football, the Netherlands are the new women's European champions as the hosts won their first major women's international tournament after a thrilling victory over Denmark. The Dutch came out 4-2 victors in Enschede with goals from Lika Martens and Sherry de Spitzer sandwiched between a brace from Viviane Medema. From women's football to women's rugby and the World Cup is underway in Ireland with defending champions England getting off to a winning start and in convincing fashion as well as they thump Spain by 56 points to 5. The 2014 winners ran in 10 tries in all against the world number 8 side with Megan Jones completing her hat-trick after just 31 minutes. There was, though, an even more convincing win for Canada on opening day as they missed out on the 100-point mark by just two, beating Hong Kong 98-0. The next round of group games takes place on Sunday. Tennis now, and world number one Andy Murray has pulled out of the Cincinnati Masters because of an ongoing hip injury. You may remember that the injury hampered the Scot at this year's Wimbledon, leading to an early exit for the defending champion. And Murray has said that him withdrawing from this tournament is to help him get back to full fitness ahead of the final major of the year, the US Open. Talking of majors, from the court to the course... The course in question is Quell Hollow in North Carolina and it's the final major of the year on the men's golf circuit, the US PGA. Jordan Spieth aiming to become the youngest player to achieve the golfing grand slam of the four majors after victory at Royal Birkdale last month. And of course, play got underway on Thursday. But as to not ruin it for you, just in case you haven't caught up and you're looking forward to the weekend, well, we won't drop any spoilers in here, but we will bring you a full roundup on next week's edition of the world at play the final weekend of the world athletics championships taking place in london and what a week it's been on the track and on the field no fairy tale ending though for usain bolt as he gets ready to call time on possibly the greatest athletics career ever with just a bronze medal in the 100 meters final there may, however, be a fairy tale ending for Mo Farah, who won gold in the 10,000 metres and is through to the final of the 5,000 metres on Saturday, attempting to do another double over the long distance on the track. South Africa's Vaid van Niekerk defended his 400 metres title with a dominant victory under 44 seconds. And one name you might have heard a lot this week is that of Botswana's Isaac Makwala. He was banned from competing in the 400 metres by the organising body, the IAAF. He was also given a 48-hour quarantine over concerns about a norovirus outbreak. He missed the first round of qualifying for the 200 metres during that time, but was allowed to run a solo 200 metres against the clock. From that, he qualified for the semi-finals and then went one step better by qualifying for the final, finishing second in his semi. Plenty of gold medals still up for grabs this weekend. We've got the decathlon, the men's javelin, and of course, the men's and women's relay finals, which will feature the final time you'll see Usain Bolt run on the track in the 4 by 100 metres. Finishing up with football. And before we get to the Premier League, a quick look at the pick of the results from around the UK from the last seven days. Luton Town had the most convincing win on the opening day of the Football League season after they went down to an early goal against Yeovil. Well, the Hatters just about managed to score 
scrape it back, winning 8-2. Bristol City found themselves on top of the championship after just the one game, beating Barnsley 3-1. And in Scotland, it was business as usual as Celtic thumped hearts 4-1. So the big guns are back in England with the rest of Europe's top leagues returning to action next weekend. And here's how the opening weekend of Premier League fixtures stack up. The opening game is on Friday with Arsenal taking on Leicester City. Defending champions Chelsea play at home to Burnley. Man City are away at the newly promoted Brighton. And then on Sunday, Spurs travel to Newcastle with Manchester United at home against West Ham. As always, whatever your sports and whoever your team, we wish them the very best for this coming weekend. This has been a production of Studio 5 AVB.com. My name is Lee Middleton, and me and you are back together in the same place at the same time next week with more from the world at play. (laughs) 